Data has value. All organizations are, are rapidly moving towards uh, ownership of bits and digits and bytes rather than atoms and molecules. Yet we don't account for any of this. Uh, Google, it, it, probably their greatest asset is their data. Yet it shows up nowhere on their balance sheet. It shows up not on a p and it, 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 It's not valued in any way, yet that's really the true value of the company. So I'm looking at how we can take and account for data as an asset and characterize it such that it can be thought of in that way because it then can be treated just like a truck or a car or a capital, any other capital investment. I think the most important thing I'd like people to know about my research is that it's focused on hopefully something that will be of value uh, beyond the academic community. Oftentimes you have to take these incremental steps in an academic sense before you can actually provide any value to the applied community. And I came from the applied world to the academic community, so I bring an applied perspective to just about everything I do. I'm not interested in doing theoretical research for the sake of advancing the theory. I'll, I'll do research for the sake of using a theory to help us better understand a problem and solve it. I think a great teacher is comes from compassion. I think you have to care about why that student is there. Uh, you have to care about the challenges that each student is facing to achieve their goal. I think the days are gone where mom and dad says, you go to college because that's the right thing to do. I don't think too many people can afford to just send their kid to college because it's the right thing to do. They're there for a reason, and particularly when you get into graduate school, You've got people that are working eight hour days and then going to school and then going home and doing homework and possibly caring for a family. Uh, you can't simply treat them as a name on a seating chart. You have to get to know them. You have to find out why they're there, what they really want to get out of the class, uh, what they really want to do with it in their life. And, and, and I think all of that is just various facets of compassion. If you care about your student and you know what you're talking about, uh, you, you end up uh, getting them where they want to be.